Well, hopefully this focus is light this time. We'll give it a go. I'm using uh, old egg crates at the moment, stuff you get down the supermarket. It's free. That's it. Bit, bit hay type stuff on the top. Right. Let's go and look at the bees again, eh? Okay, well here we go, we're at the bees. As you can see, uh, they're quite busy down there. I mean, I can't see very well because I've got my veil on, but I think that's about in shot. To zoom out, we've got more bees on this one. Okay, they're flying well, that's another little one. Look at that one there, there's some more bees there. That one there seems to be really buzzing. Pardon the pun, should we say. So that's got to be quite a big hive and then like if you look over that side there the far one's really busy with bees the one next to it and even that one there so we've got one two three four five six seven hives made it through the winter i was quite concerned at one point but i'm going to pop the top off and uh just have a quick look inside so if they need a bit of candy i've brought it with me i mean hopefully there'll be quite amicable today because it's a nice sunny day so I'll set the video up and you can watch me do it hopefully that is anyway uh, what's that looking at what's that looking at not a lot okay down a bit down a bit uh, okay that's it It might seem a bit fumbly, but um, I've got these like big leather gloves on. So I'm going to just take the top off of that. The top, basically, I didn't have a roof, so I stuck that bit of plastic on. The one behind, below it, the white one, that's an old soup. It might have a bit of food in there. And the bottom is what's called the brew chamber. And that's where all the queen and the eggs and the larvae are. And we'll see how we're getting on. So first inspection of the year, and I think it's about March the 7th, I think. All right, so what you do? Classic beekeeper, have a look, see the bees are okay, see if they're bringing any pollen in. Can't see any at the moment, so little puff. This is just tell the bees we're coming. Basically they know we're coming because they can feed our footprints, but this is help fire, get some stores. Plus it also disorientates their chemical messages between each other. So just give that a little while, because they could get quite aggressive, hopefully they won't. Right, and we'll pop this. This is just what I used as a roof because I didn't have any roof at the time. It's full of water, but that doesn't matter because it's actually a feeder. You put your hive tool in there. I'll just go and empty this. bees up inside there. Well, we actually uh, seem to have bees up in the honey soup here, so we'll, we'll crack a couple open. A little, a little puff, just to say, get your head down as you look at your sideways. Okay, they've got no spare stores, they're empty, yeah? There must have been a little bit left on here somewhere. But I think they're clear in the very last of it. So we come to this just at the right time, I think. Yes, as you can see, we're empty on stores. Or which is beef food, or whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, yeah, look at that, all bone dry. 
So I'll feed these some of that sugar candy I brought today. I'm just going to go into the, the brew chamber. This is where they store the honey, and that's honeyless. Totally. Yeah, there's nothing there at all. That's just an old cobweb, nothing to worry about. Got no wax moth here, so that's good. I've got a slug. You do get slugs tend to overwinter themselves in the uh, beehives. Sometimes you get mice and things like that, but with a little entrance, you shouldn't get any problems there. Right, so you push your hive tool in. A bit of smoke. Give it a second there. Right, okay, then where can I put that? I might put that on top of that one. Okay, just have a look underneath. There's a few bees there, but not a lot. Okay, as you can see, they've well stuck these frames together. And what they call properize them. And just trying to get the frames up without damaging the bees. They seem to have. Uh, Oh, okay, well they've got a bit of stores. Hey, this, this actually is honey, capped honey. Uh, but that's, that's, that's rock hard, see that? That's, that's called rake. That's the yellow stuff in the fields. Really bad for the bees, because they pack it in their hive, and when they need it, at this sort of time in the winter, or just after the winter, they can't turn it back into a food, and so they die of starvation. So rake honey, if it's left in the hive, or bees collect it, it's the bad stuff, it really is. Plus the fact it wrecks all these combs, you can't do nothing with them. Mm. As you see, I mean they've got food here, but they won't be able to turn that back into anything they can use. So we've come at the right time with our sugar, or, what was it called? Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, see so not same again. On this one here, you can see this is this year's brood. See a sealed seal, and inside there's little tiny larvae and grubs, like little Michigan men. They're all curled up in the cells, and outside them is pollen, which is normal, and outside them is honey. But this honey is no good because it's rock hard. So. I think we've come to this hive at just the right time to save it. There we go. There you go. I mean there is nectar there. So that's not bad. Once again the, pot, the honey is hard. See there, look that's a whole, a whole side of honey. And it's it's useless to the bees at all that. So good. Well at least we know what we're doing there, what we're up against. I might just put our where is it? I might just put our feed paste direct on the uh, brood box here and that will stop any robbing from others. So I'm just going to cut a section of this off. I mean the bees are really good since I've disturbed them. This is the first time this year. And by leaving it here, I'll put the honey super on top. Uh, it will stop the other bees from robbing it out. We might just have to take a comb out somewhere. Right. I mean, ideally, they've got, got 
got an elk on that, what's called the little, uh, there we go. that's not bad, do that, try to turn that upside down, no that's no good, Off. Right, so at least you know now that one now they've got a bit of a feed paste or fondant, yeah. You could use shit, as I said, syrup before, so they're going to be okay. Well, I haven't got a proper top for this one, I've, I've seem to have mislaid it, so all I'm doing is putting that on. The plastic cover, and that'll do their inspection. Oh, I say, say the top on plastic cover, and that'll do their inspection for now. This one here, now this is a commercial size hive, this is a national size hive. I'll have a quick look in here, and if they're low on stores, give them some, then we'll check the other ones and see how we go. So, once again, a little smoke puff, smoke a puff, puff of smoke. Don't you say it's staying in the light now? Give them a minute. Do that one as well while we're waiting. That's it, good. Now, can you see that one? I'm not quite sure. Let's have a look. Uh, no, not really. You have to come around a little bit. Right, this one's a, a national. Sorry about the jerkiness. There we go. That's obviously the bees were there. See how the bees are hanging out the one we just done? Yeah, we've obviously been in and disturbed them. And uh, they're not too happy about that, but they're still there. They're not flying off. Some people call that bearding, but that normally happens when it's overcrowded and that certainly isn't. So we'll look at this one. Let's try and get a better shot from somewhere over there. Hang on. I think that might be better. It's not a cell really. Right, okay, you get a general gist of it anyway. So you know we've smoked them. Okay. So we lift this one off. Put it down there. Now the brick is to keep the bees in the box really. It stops them coming up, proper lies in the lid. And this is what's called a nucleus, or a small, you know, a small hive, a nucleus hive. It's where we start the bees off. So but they've been in this all winter, a little bit of smoke, you know, they look like you find bees get a bit aggressive when they get hungry. And if you're going by that one, then they would be a bit hungry by now. Okay, don't crack it off, nice gentle movements, that's what we're after. So this is looking okay, bees aren't too bad, with a puff of smoke. Right, let's take one out. Oh look, got stuck down like this. Have to repair that. Nice and gentle. Now we've got bees on here. So what are they doing? Okay. What are they doing? Let's have a look see. There may be the last little bit of stores left in there. And they're trying to get it. Definitely nothing on that side. That is okay. Right, I'll just pop that down there. And we'll take another one out. Nice gentle bees so far. Must mean to say they're going to stay that way. They're okay. Yep, look. Nose. A little bit of rock hard honey again. 
Well that one's a bit soft then, and that's good. Okay, the, the, the different colours is pollen from the flowers. There's uh, mainly nothing there for them to eat on. See how this bee here is? It's got its bum sticking out. Well that's normally getting into starvation mode. They're getting right down in the cells and getting the very last drop of food out. So this one definitely needs to be kept an eye on. But they're doing good. We can always give them a nice little uh, sugar pate and that will give them a boost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think once again, a bit of pollen here. I mean, that's gone mouldy because the, the bee numbers are dropping a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. That was the old brood. They occupied that area. Mm -hmm. And outside that is honey. Now that's the old honey. See? And that's a new bit of honey they brought in. That's soft. That's rock hard. So that's this year's and that's last year's. So they are getting the food source from somewhere but I think they still could do with a little bit of a boost. So you got another empty frame there. Can't see any brood passengers yet so I haven't really looked for the queen. This is just an inspection. I'm gonna Give them a bit of fondant as well. You're more likely watch another video and they'll say, that's not the way to do it. You can't do beekeeping like that. Well, you can do beekeeping any way you like. Everyone's got their own opinion, and mine is, they live or die, I do try to help them, I give them a bit of food, and uh, hopefully that will see them through to the next visit. Do everything for them, I mean we give them a, a special treatment against the mite called the varroa mite, so they get that, and uh, they're inspected by the bee inspector every year or so. There you go. Right. For a first inspection of the year, that's not bad. You know, they're still alive. Good. They bring in their own hun their honey in from outside. Good. A lot of stores, which is no good. The old crystallised stuff. That's from uh, the old seed rape. But, I've seen it through the worst part. You know, which is like the winter. That's not looking very good, is it, that one? Or that one. But anyway, we'll see how they go. Right, on to the next one. Sure, it is a long video, but there's a lot to do today, I'm afraid. Uh, can you see that one? Sort of, they say, sort of. Uh, If I bring back the camera out a little bit, it might, I don't know, it might be better, it might be worse. It's really hard to see here. I'm not sure if you're getting glare off the sun again. Maybe not. I think you might be alright there, just about. Right. Turn again. I know you've always given smoke once. We don't need to give it again. Give it a second, we'll pop the roof. Oh, they stuck this one together. There we go. Oh, there's a ton. So the bees are right up here now at the moment, I can see them. Right, 
Okay, these are just empty frames. There's no honey or stores on that one. Yeah, just em empty stores there. Nothing here. The cupboard is bare. There's a little thing you might like to see. You may be able to see. On the ends of these frames, there's this like this stuff here. <coughs> it's called propolis, otherwise known as like a bee glue. And actually, you can use this as an antiseptic. It's really good stuff. <coughs> right, I'll take this one off. Actually, we'll take one out. A few more bees we're getting on to. Okay, okay. Not a bit of honey or pollen, syrup, nothing. Nectar, nothing. So, we'll try another couple. Oh, that aggravated them a little bit. Yeah, got no stores at all, yeah? Now these need to be uh, calmed down a little bit. See how the bees are attacking my glove? I need a bit more smoke. Just to calm them a little bit and disorientate them. Take their mind off of what we're doing. There you go. might do it's just just to give them a little puff before we take the top off so this one is a bit more aggressive but I suppose it could be because there's more of these okay let's have a look at one of these okay now once again we've got oil seed rape here and uh, see how hard it is? You know, you can scrape the stuff off but the bees can't do much with this. You need a really strong colony to convert that back into a food. It'd be alright in the summer but just coming out of winter I think you'll find they're going to struggle doing that. Yeah, okay, got nothing there. Empty stores. Right, we're going to go into the brood chamber now. <coughs> and you might find the bees are going to get quite aggressive because there's a few here. Now this is a queen excluder. This is a special bit of kit we use which keeps the queen in this box here, stops her getting up into these honey supers and laying in them, which would make our honey harvest or get the honey from it a bit awkward. But once again, the bees, as you can see, have what they call propolis or they've stuck this to the hive. A bit like um, draft excluding. Just have a quick look, make sure the queen's not on there anywhere. And they're okay, okay, so that's looking good. Put that down now. Okay, now, what we'll do, we'll try one about there, I thought. I'm going to take the whole hive to bits. Just an indication of what they've got and what they need, really. So we gently prize that out. Okay, so we're looking there. Okay, what we got? No brood or anything on that side. A bit of old honey on that side. So we'll go in a bit further. See if we can find any brood. Let's know that the queen's laying. No 
nothing on there, empty of all stores. Uh, nothing at all, a bit of old, what's what's left of the old honey. Got bums in the old uh, mm -hmm. home means they're getting low on food. Come on girls, won't be long. Oh look at that, there we go. Seal brood, named we got the Queen and the Queen's lady.